Beneath the vast skies of Arizona, the Grand Canyon's ancient layers hold secrets of our planet's distant past. It's a place where history is etched into every rock and crevice, whispering tales of the Earth's formation. Yet, recent discoveries have sent ripples of both awe and alarm across the globe. From the depths of its caverns to the peaks of its ridges, scientists have unearthed findings that challenge our understanding and hint at hidden dangers. Join us as we unveil 10 startling discoveries at the Grand Canyon that have left the world both fascinated and fearful. Number 1. Discovery of Ancient Fossilized Tracks In the sprawling expanse of the Grand Canyon, a discovery by geologist Alan Krill has sent ripples through the scientific community and beyond. Amidst the layers of ancient rock, Krill unearthed a set of fossilized tracks etched into stone that have stood the test of time. These are not just any footprints. They are a window into a world 313 million years past, a time when the earliest amniotes roamed the Earth. Amniotes, the group that includes reptiles, birds, and mammals, were among the first vertebrates to venture onto land, and these tracks are among the oldest evidence of their terrestrial existence. The significance of this find cannot be overstated. The age of the tracks places them in the Carboniferous period, a time when the supercontinent Pangaea was in its infancy. The creatures that left these tracks were pioneers on an evolutionary frontier, their footsteps marking the dawn of a new era in the history of life on Earth. The tracks themselves are a marvel of preservation, with the intricate details of toes and soles visible offering a tantalizing glimpse into the anatomy and movement of these ancient animals. However, with groundbreaking discoveries come debates and controversies. Some in the scientific community have called for caution, pointing to the need for rigorous analysis and peer review. Questions arise about the interpretation of the tracks and the conclusions drawn about the creatures that made them. The tracks have opened a dialogue about the methods used to date such findings and the implications they hold for our understanding of evolutionary history. This discovery at the Grand Canyon is not just a scientific curiosity. It is a narrative that has the power to terrify and fascinate. To think that beneath our feet lies evidence of life from a time so distant, it defies our understanding, is a humbling reminder of Earth's ancient past. It challenges our perception of time and our place in the grand tapestry of life. Number 2. The Grand Canyon's Geological Mystery In the heart of the Grand Canyon lies a geological puzzle that has perplexed scientists for decades. This enigma, known as the Great Unconformity, presents a staggering billion-year gap in the Earth's crust. Imagine, Layers of rock that should narrate the history of our planet are missing, as if pages torn from the Book of Time. The rocks at the bottom of the Grand Canyon are ancient beyond comprehension, dating back 1.4 to 1.8 billion years. These Vishnu Schist rocks, dark and metamorphic, bear the scars of immense pressure and heat, remnants of a time when the Earth was a volatile cauldron of tectonic upheaval. Directly above these primordial stones, much younger layers from the Cambrian period rest incongruously. These are a mere 520 million years old, a discrepancy that leaves a vast, unaccounted epoch. This juxtaposition is not just a curiosity, it's a silent alarm that echoes through the canyons and the scientific community alike. What cataclysmic events could have erased such a vast stretch of geological history? The Great Unconformity is more than a gap in time. It's a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. It suggests that the Earth has undergone transformations so profound that evidence of entire eras can be swept away. This gap could be the result of massive erosional events, or perhaps the shifting and colliding of tectonic plates, which recycled the crust back into the Earth's mantle, leaving behind a clean slate for new layers to form. The implications are as unsettling as they are awe-inspiring. If such immense geological forces were at play to cause this unconformity, what does that say about the stability of the ground beneath our feet? The Grand Canyon's Great Unconformity 
is a stark reminder of Earth's ancient and violent history, and how much remains unknown beneath our very steps. Number three, caves with preserved remains. Beneath the vast and rugged expanse of the Grand Canyon, a network of hidden caves cradles a treasure trove of natural history. These subterranean chambers, shielded from the ravages of time and weather, have become natural time capsules. Within them, the remains of a diverse array of animals and plants have been found, astonishingly well-preserved. The species discovered range from wood rats that scurried through the underbrush, to bats that flitted in the dusky skies, from mountain goats that navigated the treacherous cliffs to sloths that once roamed the canyon's rim. The preservation of these remains is so exceptional that they provide an almost lifelike glimpse into the past ecosystems of the Grand Canyon. Radiocarbon dating, a method that measures the decay of carbon isotopes in organic matter, has been employed to reveal the age of these remains. This technique has shed light on the timeline of habitation within the caves, offering a window into the lives and epochs of the creatures that once dwelled here. The implications of these findings are profound. They not only allow scientists to reconstruct past environments, but also to understand the changes that have occurred over millennia. The data extracted from these remains can inform us about past climate conditions, dietary habits of extinct species, and even the migration patterns of animals that once called the Grand Canyon home. Yet, the unearthing of these caves has also sent a ripple of concern through the scientific community. The delicate balance that allowed for the preservation of these remains is under threat from the very curiosity and exploration that led to their discovery. As we delve deeper into these natural archives, the question arises. How do we protect the legacy of the past while satisfying the quest for knowledge? This conundrum hangs in the air much like the mystery that shrouds the Grand Canyon itself, challenging us to find a path forward that honors both science and conservation. Number four, ancient fossilized footprints. In the vast expanse of the Grand Canyon, a discovery by geologist Alan Krill has sent ripples through the scientific community. Nestled within the striated rock formations, a series of fossilized footprints were uncovered, etching a narrative of life that thrived 313 million years ago. These imprints are not just indentations in stone. They are the earliest known evidence of amniotes, the group that includes reptiles, birds, and mammals navigating this terrain. The footprints reveal a creature that roamed the floodplains of the ancient supercontinent of Pangaea, offering a tangible connection to the distant past. The significance of these footprints extends beyond their age. They provide a rare glimpse into the locomotion of early vertebrates, suggesting a complex interplay of anatomy and environment. The stride length and depth of the impressions speak to the size and weight of the creatures, while the spacing and pattern offer clues to their gait and speed. These ancient tracks tell a story of survival and adaptation of life forms evolving and thriving amidst the shifting landscapes of prehistoric Earth. What is particularly striking about these footprints is their clarity and preservation. It's as if time stood still, allowing us a window into an era long before dinosaurs dominated the land. The footprints serve as a sobering reminder of the relentless march of time and the fleeting nature of existence. They underscore the Grand Canyon not just as a marvel of natural beauty, but as a crucial archive of Earth's evolutionary history. This discovery is not just a scientific curiosity. It holds a mirror to our own existence. The creatures that left these tracks were among the first to conquer land. Their evolutionary journey paved the way for countless species, including humans. As we gaze upon these ancient footprints, we are confronted with the fragility of life and the awe-inspiring endurance of nature's will to persist. It's a discovery that not only terrifies in its implications of time's vastness, but also inspires wonder at life's tenacity. Number five, 
Concerns about the drying Colorado River. In the heart of the Grand Canyon, the Colorado River, a once mighty waterway that carved through rock and earth to create one of the world's most magnificent natural wonders, is now facing an existential threat. The river's waters, which have flowed for millions of years, nurturing a vast ecosystem and providing sustenance for human civilizations, are dwindling at an alarming rate. The implications of this drying river are profound, not only for the Grand Canyon, but for the entire region that depends on its flow. The construction of dams and the diversion of water for agricultural and urban use have significantly reduced the volume of water that reaches the Colorado River's delta. These human interventions have altered the natural course of the river, disrupting the delicate balance of the riparian habitats that host a myriad of wildlife species. The dams, while crucial for water storage and electricity generation, have also trapped sediments that once nourished downstream ecosystems, leading to further environmental degradation. Moreover, the reduced inflow has a cascading effect on the Grand Canyon's ecology. The lowering water levels can lead to the loss of native fish species, some of which are already endangered, and can disrupt the breeding patterns of birds and other wildlife. The river's retreat also exposes previously submerged archaeological sites, which, while providing new opportunities for discovery, raises concerns about the preservation of these cultural treasures. The drying of the Colorado River is not just an environmental issue, it's a crisis that could have dire consequences for millions of people. The river is a crucial water source for seven U.S. and two Mexican states, supporting the livelihoods of farmers, the functionality of cities, and the survival of indigenous communities. The stark reality of the Colorado River's plight serves as a chilling reminder of the fragility of our natural resources and the profound impact human activity has on the planet's life-giving systems. Number 6. The Threat to the Colorado River In the serpentine depths of the Grand Canyon, the Colorado River, a lifeline of the American West, is whispering tales of distress. Once mighty and unyielding, this river is now facing an existential threat that could alter the landscape it has sculpted for millions of years. The culprit, a combination of relentless climate change and human intervention. As temperatures rise, the snowpacks that feed the river diminish, leading to a reduced flow that struggles to meet the demands of the millions who rely on its waters. This isn't just a local issue. The Colorado River is a crucial artery for seven states and Mexico, supporting agriculture, municipalities, and indigenous communities. The river's decline is more than an environmental crisis. It's a cultural and economic one, too. The urgency for action has never been more palpable. Without intervention, the river could reach a tipping point from which recovery might be impossible. Conservationists are calling for a reimagined approach to managing the river's resources, advocating for sustainable water usage practices that could ease the burden on this strained waterway. The Glen Canyon Dam, once a symbol of human ingenuity, now represents an old paradigm that may no longer be viable in our rapidly changing climate. Rethinking its operation could be a key step in ensuring the river's survival. The Colorado River's plight is a stark reminder of our interconnectedness with nature. It's not just about the water, it's about the myriad of lives, human and non-human, that the river sustains. As we gaze upon the Grand Canyon's grandeur, the silent struggle of the river below serves as a harrowing testament to the fragility of our planet's ecosystems. The call to action is clear. We must adapt and we must do it now, for the Colorado River's whispers of distress could soon become cries of desolation. Number 7. Uranium Deposits in the Grand Canyon Beneath the rugged landscape of the Grand Canyon, a discovery has sparked both interest and alarm. Significant uranium deposits nestled within the canyon's geological formations, known as breccia pipes. These natural conduits, formed by the collapse of rock layers into voids below, 
have become repositories for this radioactive mineral. The history of uranium mining in the region dates back to the post-World War II era, a time when the demand for nuclear materials surged. However, the legacy of these mining activities has left an indelible mark on the land and its inhabitants. The Havasupai tribe, whose ancestral roots intertwine with the canyon's red-hued vistas, has faced the brunt of this discovery. The presence of uranium poses a dire threat to their water supply, raising fears of contamination. Water is not just a resource for the Havasupai, it is a sacred element, integral to their cultural and spiritual practices. The contamination concerns are not unfounded. Uranium mining has a notorious history of polluting water sources, with the potential to introduce harmful substances into the ecosystem. These substances can have devastating effects on health, including kidney damage and increased cancer risks, casting a shadow over the community's future. The Grand Canyon, a marvel that has stood the test of time, now confronts a modern peril. The uranium deposits, while geologically fascinating, carry with them a legacy of environmental impact that cannot be ignored. The juxtaposition of natural wonder against human-induced risk paints a troubling picture, one that serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance we must maintain with our planet's ancient treasures. As the world looks on, the revelations from the Grand Canyon serve as a chilling testament to the consequences of our search for resources and the imperative to safeguard the environment for future generations. Number 8. The Havasupai Tribe Nestled within the rugged expanse of the Grand Canyon, the Havasupai tribe has etched out a living across the centuries, their history as intertwined with the canyon as the Colorado River itself, known as the People of the Blue-Green Waters. The Havasupai have dwelled in the canyon's depths, cultivating its fertile floodplains and navigating the complexities of a landscape both harsh and breathtaking. However, the serenity of this ancient connection was disrupted by land disputes that threatened their way of life. The U.S. government, in various historical instances, parceled out their ancestral lands, leaving the Havasupai with a fraction of their original territory. It wasn't until 1975 that a measure of justice was restored when their lands were expanded, acknowledging their deep-rooted presence in the canyon. In the face of these challenges, the Havasupai have shown remarkable resilience. They have adeptly transitioned to incorporating tourism into their economy, welcoming visitors from around the globe to experience the splendor of the canyon's hidden waterfalls and the vibrant community life that thrives amidst the rocky gorges. Farming, too, remains a staple of their survival, with the tribe cultivating the land much as their ancestors did, preserving a legacy of agricultural tradition against the backdrop of one of the world's natural wonders. Number 9. Mogollon Monster In the shadowed depths and rugged terrains of the Grand Canyon, whispers of a creature stir the air, a being as elusive as it is formidable. Known as the Mogollon Monster, Arizona's own cryptic counterpart to Bigfoot, it has been the subject of numerous accounts that send shivers down the spines of locales and visitors alike. Described typically as a large bipedal entity, covered in long, dark fur, this monster is said to possess a startling presence, with red eyes that pierce through the darkness of the canyon's nights. The tales of this creature are not recent fabrications. They stretch back over a century, with the first recorded sightings dating to 1903. Since then, the Mogollon monster has become an integral part of the region's folklore. Hikers, campers, and even seasoned outdoorsmen have reported encounters with a creature that defies explanation, recounting experiences marked by an eerie silence followed by an overwhelming sense of being watched. And for the unfortunate few, a glimpse of the beast itself. Skeptics and believers clash over the existence of the Mogollon monster. While no definitive proof has emerged to confirm its presence, the consistency and similarity of the sightings keep the debate alive. 
The Grand Canyon, with its vast and largely unexplored wilderness, provides the perfect backdrop for such a creature to evade detection, adding a layer of plausibility to the accounts. The debate over the Mogollon monster is more than a question of belief. It taps into our primal fear of the unknown, the terror of what might lurk in the uncharted corners of our world. It's a chilling reminder that despite our advancements, there are still mysteries out there in the wild, unyielding spaces like the Grand Canyon that remain beyond our understanding. This enduring legend continues to terrify and fascinate, compelling us to wonder what other secrets the canyon might hold. Number 10. The Tucson Ruins in the sprawling expanse near the Grand Canyon, the Tucson ruins stand as silent witnesses to an ancient civilization. These remnants of a bygone era offer a rare glimpse into the lives of the ancestral Puebloans, whose ingenuity in architecture and agriculture once thrived in this arid landscape. The ruins, with their strategically constructed walls and kivas, speak volumes about the Puebloans' deep understanding of their environment. They built their homes from the very earth beneath their feet, using sandstone, adobe, and limestone materials that have withstood the harsh test of time. The layout of the ruins suggests a community deeply connected to the land, with structures positioned to harness the sun's warmth and the coolness of the shade. Their agricultural prowess is evident in the traces of irrigation canals that once channeled water from the Colorado River, turning the desert green with maize, beans, and squash. These crops were the lifeblood of their society, a testament to their ability to adapt and flourish in a landscape that was as beautiful as it was unforgiving. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.